What's going on guys? Back at you with another one. It's your boy Antoine Hamlet, AKA High Top Hamlet. So um, yeah, man, back on the AC channel, we're gonna hit you with some sick pose. And last time we did bodybuilding, today we're gonna be working on some classic physique. So you're gonna see just the difference of flow and how we get into it. So yeah, stay tuned, it's about to get popping. Front double by. So you notice here in classic physique, we like to extend the leg out slightly and then also add just a little twist here, which then actually helps to give you a nice taper waist, just adding a little twist. A lot of guys, give me more twists, give me more twists. A lot of guys, they do stuff like this and they overdo it, which then ruins the whole aesthetic of the flow. Really all you have to do is extend the leg, put all the weight in the, op, in the base leg with a little twist while flaring the knees out. Most people, when they twist, the knee twists in with them. Make sure your knees still flare out so it puts the vastus lateralis on the outside of the quad. Obviously, same thing, he likes a vacuum. There's another way you could do it where you actually show your six pack. So based off your flow of your body, that's gonna change. Make sure this, yeah, see? So go ahead, show your six pack. When you do that, it naturally brings the body down, but with him, it, we actually like it better, suits his body better when he actually vacuums up. So posing doesn't necessarily have to stay the same for everybody, it's all specific to the flow of the person's body. Core turn to your right. Glutes, perfect. Chin up, excellent. So a lot of you guys may not know, but uh, he actually did a men's physique before, so he actually has a wicked midsection. Your choice side chest. Take your time, take your time. Good, beautiful. Glutes, 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 glutes. So if you ever pose with me, you're gonna constantly hear me yell this. Most guys on stage, if the glutes ain't flex, count yourself in last place. I tell everybody that, soft glutes don't work. Go, go, go in a bikini. We ain't, no bubble butts in bodybuilding or classic, none of that. Beautiful flow, good core, good balance. And with this pose, you always wanna, it should always look like you're a stand-up statue, just straight up. Beautiful, sit on the legs. There you go, excellent. Quarter turn to your right. And a lot of the times I like to mix up the posing because it actually helps with transitional, being able to go from one side to the next. Back to your side chest again. Beautiful, good flow. Right in, good posture, excellent, glute. Good, face the back. Hold it, yep. Good hams, good glutes. It's the number one thing that I, that I would pay attention to. At pulls and starts from the ground up. First thing you wanna pay attention is making sure that the hamstrings are on. Next, we have the glutes. Next, lower lumbar area. Next, the thoracic spine. This comes when you actually posture up and push your chest up to the stage. Lastly, we have the arms, which then helps to complete the full back picture because tricep connects here. So as soon as the arms is flexed, it allows the post delt and the rest of the flow of the back to actually pop. One leg is sent it back double by. And the way that I like to teach the back pose, or actually all poses, is that the back double by is still reflects the back relax. The only difference is you're just externally rotating your, your arm. So do me a favor, hold this pose, go right back into your back, relax. Down. So without moving your leg, just go into your back double by. Get what I mean? Chest up, beautiful. Good flow, good flow, good flow. Quarter turn to your right. Take your time, take your time, take your time. Good, glute, keep the glute on, keep the glute on. There you go. And I don't know if I said this in the last video, but the main way for you to, keep the core on, the main way for you to make sure that this pose is correct, your arms is the picture frame. Keep the core tight. Your body is the picture. Your body has to be symmetrically in the middle of your arms. Face the front. Good, beautiful. Nice flow. Core is nice and controlled. 
this leg. So one way for you to make sure that you're doing this pose right, this muscle right in the middle is called your rectus femoris. If you don't see this muscle and it goes flat, this muscle, if that disappears, the detail's gone. That goes for any bodybuilder or classic physique. Pay attention to this muscle. Front thigh abdominal. All right, hold it. Okay, relax. Do it one more time. When you're ready. <laughs> How many weeks up? Days, weeks, days, days now. 18 days, so yeah, he's feeling it right now. Um, from last year to this year, uh, just fine tuning things. So the number one thing that we actually fine tuned was a back double by. Small things, uh, placement of the hand in the side chest. A lot of guys, normally when they do the side chest, their hand's a little bit out here, which then creates more gaps. We just close this. Honestly, we're just fine tuning little things because he remembered a lot from last year because we put in a lot of work last year. I think the first show, first show you battle for the overalls, you didn't get your pro card. And then the feedback was, I believe what? Just more classic. Yes, a pose more classic. So he, I think he did the more upright front double buys and then we just started tweaking things, adding more hip tilt, just making things more flowy how it is in classic, just, as, just so you can actually see the difference between bodybuilding pose and in classic pose. And, and he got that and this time around now it's just literally fine tuning basically picking up where we left off and fine tuning just the small details. That's really what it is. So yeah, he's, he's, he's a bodybuilder. So he lives it, he does it, he practices, he does everything that I suggest him to do. And yeah, so it makes it easy. And then after, because after that, it's all in the judge's hand. So I, I tell all my athletes, do it and then get the feedback from the judges because the judges is what's going to be able to prepare you for the next show. Don't listen to your coach. Don't listen to no one. I know people will be like, oh, oh, no. Go to the judges. The judges are the people that are going to propel you. And then you take that information, bring it back to your coaches. Then you have a game plan. So that's the thing. Okay, stop. So when you're here, you notice how even the lights create so much shadow yeah. because you're bringing your body down. Secondly, when you also do that, this foot, your foot kind of, it has like this tilt where it looks like the knee trying to push up, but the foot's not following. So treat the position of your foot same like the front double by when you're here. So when you put that leg in the front, you're still pushing with the toe. Now you flare both knees out to sit on it. But do you see how your foot's like this? Put the whole ball of your foot on the floor. There, now flare your knees out. Beautiful, now finish. Perfect. Because what you're doing before, because you were on basically the pinky part of your foot, it had everything, even your ankle looked like it was off because it looked like you were kind of like this. Okay. Put, the whole, put the whole ball full of your floor, knees flare out, and then just let the air out from here. Because <sighs> you still want to be able to see the full front. You don't want to come in and bring your whole body forward. Perfect. Knees out. There you go. Better. Most favorite classic pose. So remember, this side's the more important. So let that lat come out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you see the trap? Yeah. So when you come up, if you start to notice that the trap kind of has like this look, where it looks more plumped up, yeah. relax, sit it out, let the scapula come out more this way. And even, just to add a little bit, you can even take this and imagine this lat is pushing this way. So it's more like a, it's more like a tilt. Like this hand's literally coming here and then boom, to get more, more of an angle here. Like the lat, like you want the lat. Yeah, you want, like you want the lat to sit out. See that? So here. Most every classic pose, don't think, go. Just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah. Did you feel that? You don't have to stop. Now, now that you know from here, now that you know you can just keep going and get into the poles, now you can play around with it. Bow, out, turn your head. Boom, turn your head back. That's a transition right there. So let's try that, I'll do it again. So we'll go one, turn your head. Stop this hand, boom. Turn your head back, bicep curl. Bicep curl, try that. Most favorite classic pose. Stop. See this? See your hands? Come on. 
Flex your abs. There you go. Now we can see. Look at that. Detail we got. Now go. Out. Turn your head. Turn your head. Boom. Now turn your head back. So it's this. One, two. Do this with me. No legs. Just do this with me. Turn, look, look at your hand. One, when I say two. Back again. One, two. Back again. One, two. Okay, do the whole thing. Most favorite classic pose. Down, 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 down. Yeah, do it again. Do it again. You see how the shoulders pop? You see how the striations in your shoulders come? Cause look, look at what you're doing. And then you have all the core, everything is here. You have the, man, most every classic pose. Yeah, yes. Keep your head there. Keep your head there. Keep your head there. You don't have to rush this pose. Most every classic pose. Bah, one, turn your head, boom. Boom. You don't have to rush those. I want you to clear your mind and then come back. We're gonna, we're gonna hit the classic pose. <laughs> So yeah, man, I love this stuff, man. I'm so thankful for this place, for Pure and HD and the whole family. I really appreciate you guys, man. This, 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 there's no gym where you can come with multiple different pros in the gym, multiple different experiences. I'm talking, you have everything in one-stop shop. One-stop shop and the camaraderie, the love, the support. We all take care of each other because we all love this sport so much, you know what I mean? The only way for the sport to stay alive is when you have community and networking and everyone working for the same goal at mind and that's just for everybody to win, period. You ready? Look in the mirror, see my Scott? You see it's flat like a pancake. It has to be fully open because this leg is out. As soon as you come out, boom, this side is just popping out 3D. This side is just for balance. It's just for balance. Your right side is for balance. That's why when people, they come out and this hand's way up here, no, you're messing up the aesthetic flow because it has to stay level through your shoulders where it's out. Boom, because look in the mirror. You still got to stay level from shoulder to shoulder. This is just a front double by lat, front lat spread combo. So the flow still has to be the same. So do that one, do that one, the one with the hand on hip. Focus on the lat, just get that lat out. Look at that. Look at that. Night and day, look at that. So when this lat, and look in the mirror, you see that? It's flat like a pancake. Look what it does to your aesthetics. And this side, the right hand side, is just for flow. It's just balance. You okay, big dog? Come on, come on, come on. Hit it while you're tired. If you can hit it while you're tired, you'll hit it on stage with ease. Come on. Boom, legs. Yup, yeah, good. You know what to do. Yeah, fully open it, fully open it. Money, good smile. Yeah, brother, let's go. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, grab some, you good? Any, any, uh, hit your side tricep. I know, I know, right? You know why? You know why? Those are probably what does, those are one of the most aesthetic poses that we don't do in classic. And with your core in your midsection, that'd be a good pose on you. Exactly. Only thing is, same thing like, same thing like the side chest. Same setup like side chest. Now go ahead, lock the elbow out, money. Don't be afraid to hit that pose. Don't be afraid to hit that. Yeah, see? You're thinking outside the box. Don't move, don't move. So you see this foot right here? You see this heel? It has to be aligned with the heel. So, put, so go ahead, put it in front, but it has to be aligned with the heel. And now the hip comes this way. Got it? Now, only thing missing, the rectus femoris is missing. So flick that toe up, flick that toe up. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not pushing into the ground, remember? Yeah. It's a flick. It. There, that. Yeah. You can do it. You got it? So boom, side tricep, right here. When you turn, it has to face right here. It can't be, it can't be in. Oop. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, because here's the thing. Watch what happens. Go, go in the stance, go in the stance. So look, if your foot, put your foot here, look how much leg you block. Right? Keep it, keep it just slightly out, align with here. Now you can see both legs. Bend this knee a little bit, boom. You even got a little bit more. Go a little bit more to your right. A little bit more to your right. There you go. A slight shrug. Just you can open up that scap, so don't try not to close out. Hit the side tricep, hit the side tricep. It's always better. You can always feel the flow because you're, see your body has to stay like this. And then when you turn, the hips drop, the hips drop, come towards me. 
but you see your upper body, you see how you're hunched down. Flex your tricep from here. Lock out your elbow from here. From there, yeah. Bring the hip forward now. Quad, knee bend. You get what I mean? You don't wanna sit down. So what I'm saying is when you're here with the side tricep, when you turn, look in the mirror. This can't be down. Because when you hit your side tricep, look, when I rotate my foot, this does not change. Boom, it's my hip that changes. Got it? So we're here, because look, this has to keep, the, you have to keep the same shape when you turn. So we're here, boom, and your hip relaxes, it elongates the torso, so make sure you don't crunch down, you use your air, remember? Oh yes, oh yes. Highly recommend you continue to pose all the way to the end of the show. It gets harder, but at the end of the day, it's like you have, to, if you can do it now, if you can always do it when you don't want to do it, when the body's not communicating, when the diet is so hard, you got a million things to do, you got other trainers, you got life, we already know you got life, you asked for this, this is what you want, it's what you do, so do it. That's my philosophy, that's what I preach, and that's what got me to the distance that I was, so I know, and it's, it, it's showing in all the athletes, you know what I mean? So it's like, yes, you have to do it because when you, when you practice hard, it's easier to play. When you're on that stage, you don't even think. Most of the clients that work with me, they don't even think. They don't even crack a sweat. They don't break. They hold everything with all muscles contracted. Why? Because I do it when it's torturous, when you don't want to do it, when you're tired, when you're exhausted, the body's not communicating, you're flat like a pancake, you don't like how you look. I mean, the list goes on. I, we're all, I'm a bodybuilder too, so I get it, but no one cares. If I don't care, you shouldn't care because it's your show. So you have to do what you need to do for your show. Because when you get on stage, may the best man win, right? So make sure that it's you. Work hard so you can play easy. <laughs> yeah, so this was another HD video for you guys. Um, we was working on some wonderful classic posing. Um, hope, hope the tips and things will be able to work for you guys um, if you have any questions. Anything that you want to know, any other categories that you want to see me pose with or specific poses that you want to see me pose with, let us know. Um, hit, like, subscribe, and yeah, stay communicated with us. We'll keep hitting you guys with some more content soon. Have a good one. God bless.